Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Addy. So for today's video, I am going to show you the tutorial, full tutorial for the new version of e-travel registration for foreign passport holders. Don't worry, for Philippine passport holders, we also have a separate video for this. Details coming right. <music> So as you guys know, there was another major changes to the e-travel registration. They have came up to a newer version that you guys must use when you travel to the Philippines. As a foreign passport holder, you must register with e-travel within 72 hours prior to your departure. And I am going to show you how to fill out the newest version of e-travel. As you begin your journey to the Philippines, this is the very first step to get registered with e-travel. As I mentioned in our latest update, that you have to create an account now in order to proceed with the e-travel registration. On this video, we are going to do two phases as well. The first phase is creating your account on e-travel and the second phase is the registration process of e-travel as i said this is for foreign passport holders don't worry for philippine passport holders we have a separate video on this in tagalog so please stay tuned and keep an eye on this video once it's uploaded in our channel so for the first phase of e-travel registration let me show you guys how to create your account with e-travel so the website is still etravel.gov.ph on the very first page or the home page of etravel.gov.ph this is what it's going to look like when you create your account as I've shown you on the screen, it would ask for your email. It is very important that you have a valid and accessible email because once you entered your email in the box, they will send you the one-time pin, which you will be using in order for you to log into your account and proceed with your register. So this is the first. Enter your email in the box then click continue when you click continue this is the second box that's going to appear this is now the process of creating your account the email that you have entered is there then they have notes on creating your password and enter the code enter the email code remember when you guys enter your email and hit continue they will actually email you the one-time pin if you guys can see it on the right hand side of the screen there's the one-time pin that you need to enter in this box in able to proceed on the creation of your account so your email is already there create your password please follow the requirements that it says over there for the password then enter the email code that was emailed to you and make sure to enter the one-time pin as soon as you can because you are only actually given five minutes to do this and once the five minutes is up they are going to send another one-time pin and you have to start all over again when everything is filled out, hit continue and that will take you to the next page. This is step one of step three, the onboarding personal information. This is where the selfie or the uploading of your image takes place. You cannot really proceed if you don't do this process because it's part of creating your account. So take a selfie. You can click take a selfie or upload image. If you have a saved photo already in your computer, you can use that. Or if your computer has a built-in camera, you can use the selfie. For this tutorial, we are going to do the foreign passport holders category very basic they would ask for your basic info your name your last name 
your citizenship, country of birth, passport number, occupation. And they would ask if you are an OFW or not, your mobile number and stuff. Basic info, basic personal info. When you are done on this page, click on the next. This is step two. You are going to input your permanent country of residence this time. So if you are coming from Canada or you are coming from the States, you are coming from London, that is the address you are going to put on this step. Step two of three. When you are done, click next. Step three is the summary. Make sure everything looks good. The information looks good and stuff. When you are satisfied with it, as you guys can see, your selfie picture is right up top. So when you are satisfied with the information that's in there, you click submit. So after you have clicked submit, you have now created your account with eTravel. That was phase one. That is what you do when you create your account with eTravel. The creating of the account is one time only. You don't need to create your account all the time once you have an account with eTravel and you want to log in back again just input your email and your password then you are already there on the eTravel portal the second phase is now the registration proper on getting the QR code for your upcoming trip to the Philippines remember you can only do the registration in getting the QR code within 72 hours prior to departure. When I say within 72 hours prior to departure, you can do this three days before you depart, two days before you depart, or on the day of your flight, you can still register with each other. So let's take up phase two and generate that QR code. After you have submitted and have created your account with eTravel, you will be taken on this page. So your selfie is there, your name is there, your passport number is there. Then as you can see, it has the new travel declaration. The new travel declaration, this is your travel details to the Philippines. And if you notice, they have travel history. So I was wondering if you have registered with the old e-travel before, your travel history record should show up on this part. And if in case, it would show up on this part and it has an edit button to it, then all you got to do with it is update it with the new travel details on your upcoming trip to the Philippines. You probably don't need to do any of the remaining steps if your travel history is shown over there. But if your travel history is not shown over there, said only if they have the edit button of your travel history. If not, then you have to do the new travel declaration. How to do the new travel declaration? Click on it and you will be taken to this page. Announcement. You may only register within 72 hours prior to your arrival or departure in the Philippines. Travelers are enjoined to present their e-travel QR code to flight boarding. So travel registration for you, for you as a traveler, for you traveling to the Philippines. For other family member, I have found out that if you have created an account, you can actually do your family member here as well that will be in a separate video especially for kids that don't have email and stuff so this is really good because that's the majority of complaints that i received especially our seniors also you can do that for them like i said it will be in a separate video that way it's not confusing so let's do it when you as a traveler going to the philippines so it's for you current user you are traveling by air and you are arriving in the philippines so click on that box then hit continue now this is step one of step three for the new travel declaration fill in your travel information this is your travel details your purpose of travel your travel type country of origin your destination upon arrival into the philippines if you have a resident address or you're staying in a hotel it's right there your information fill it up it's automatic when you fill out your flight information your airport of arrival should automatically generate on which terminal you guys are landing 
when everything is filled out on this part click next and you are on step two of step three which is the health declaration this is COVID-19 related you don't even have to do anything on this but to answer no on these two questions at the bottom like have you had any history of exposure to a person who is sick or known to have communicable or infectious disease in the past 30 days be honest if you did then click yes if not then click no have you been sick in the past 30 days again click yes if you did click no if you don't so when everything is filled out on step two proceed to step three and this is the summary of it so check if everything looks good all information are correct then you click submit when you click submit this is the new look of your e-travel QR code it would indicate your name your reference number your flight details is there it would even say no need to show your QR code the e-travel system is already integrated with the Philippine Immigration Bureau of Quarantine Health Department Tourism Department Transportation Department and Bureau of Customs go straight to immigration officer for Filipinos and foreigners or immigration e-gates for Filipinos only so it's indicated right there that you don't even have to show your QR code you don't even have to print this out because once they scan your passport they can already see that you have registered with e travel if you guys have noticed the blue box on the right hand side for customs online declaration click here when you click on that this is what's going to show on your screen so like i said before if you have something to declare on your baggage fill out the baggage declaration form if you are bringing more than ten thousand us dollars to the philippines fill out the currency declaration form you have to download these forms and fill it out manually and wait till you get to the philippines and you submit this at the bureau of customs so that's it that's how you register on the new version of e-travel so when I was doing this tutorial, at first, it was new to me. It's a new system. It was really hard to navigate at first, but you will get the hang of it. As I have shown you guys the tutorial, it's not really that bad. It's really easy. On the first phase, you have three steps to go through in creating your account. On the second phase, you have three steps to go through as well in the registration process for your QR code. And that's it. And like I said, on the e-travel QR code process, you can do the registration for your family member under one account. So we will do a separate video on that. But that is the complete process of the new version of e-travel registration for foreign passport holders going to the philippines i have also noticed this that when you created your account you can create your account ahead of time it doesn't have to be within 72 hours because the within 72 hours this is the e-travel registration when you create your account you can do it as early as you can because you can log in back then proceed to your new travel declaration so that's really up to you because if you don't input your travel details yet and you just want to create your account it would indicate in there that travel details incomplete all you gotta do is click edit or click continue then you can proceed with the registration of your e-travel this is probably a good thing that they have created this type of process to create your account that way you can log into it anytime you want and you can create your account as early as you can then just do the e-travel registration when it gets closer or at least within 72 hours prior to your departure to the philippines
months. So I hope you guys can use this as a guide, especially to those who are having a hard time navigating it. And by showing you guys how it looks like, how it's done and everything, hopefully this will help you guys to register e-travel smoothly and easily this time for foreign passport holders. Please stay tuned for Philippine passport holders tutorial as well. So this is our latest travel updates to the Philippines. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel-related videos, please comment it down below and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Or you can direct message me in our Facebook page. Same handle, the Eaton Squad. Again, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family. I hope to see you on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Oh, <laughs>